Hi, you might remember the speaker cabinet I found on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it was advertised as a 1940s speaker cabinet, uh, and I thought it would make a nice uh, little practice amplifier for my cigar box guitar. Um, anyway, there's no um, manufacturer's marks or anything on the cabinet itself. Uh, nothing inside which would indicate the age or the you know who made it or anything like that but what I did find on the speaker was um, a label for uh, Whiteley Electrical Radio Company Limited uh, which was an English manufacturer from Mansfield who set up in 1926 um, Anyway, the speaker itself was, was ruined, so hardly surprising given the age on it, so I had to source a replacement. Anyway, the, the cabinet itself would take a 12-inch speaker, um, but the one I took out of it was actually a 9-inch speaker, so I thought it would replace it with something similar. And I found one on eBay for a reasonable price, less than £10, um, with delivery. Uh, which was an 8 inch speaker so I've put that inside it um, and I've also taken the electronics out of something very similar to this it was actually an unbranded make of um, speaker and I took it apart and I've taken the electronics out um, and wired it to the new speaker and fitted it to this so the cabinet itself is quite solid. I've um, because of the thickness of the wood, I've needed to recess the um, the volume and the on-off switch um, knobs. Uh, and there's the. It's got a, a headphone output and a nine volt DC jack input there, uh, which works with any power supply for guitar effects pedals. So that's quite useful. Um, I've also added a new um, battery um, box on the back there just um, just to make it easy to access the battery. Uh, apart from that I haven't really done anything you know to uh, to improve the aesthetics but what I did need to do is clamp it and glue it back together because it was all a bit rickety and fall into bits so I did need to fix it up um, and glue it back together to give it a bit more rigidity. Anyway, so you're probably wondering by now, does it work? What does it sound like? Well, let's plug it in and give it a try, shall we? So as you can see, it switches on. There's our volume. I can reduce the... Sounds pretty good, I think, uh, and it's got like a distortion built in to the mini amps. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.